Hey Warrior, welcome to 7 Minute Marketing with Anthony Chansomuth from Simple Creative Marketing. And I want to answer a question this week that comes from one of our Warriors, uh, Vicky Tang. Thanks for asking the question, Vicky, which is for someone who's building a personal brand or starting a business uh, or they're wanting to use Facebook, right? What are the top five tips for, for using Facebook to for someone starting a new business? Okay. So let me ask let me answer that question by saying First of all, that kookaburras are singing, which is a good sign, okay? Which means that I'm on the right track by answering this question. And uh, the first thing is whether you are in a career and you're in a job and you want to go for a new promotion or you're looking to transition to another career or you are starting a new business or in an existing business and trying to build your profile online, all these five tips apply, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, so this is relevant to you in any of those scenarios, all right? So first thing is what you want to do is you want to work on your personal profile. Start there because that's where likely you already have an account, you already have some contacts, friends, family, uh, maybe some colleagues already connected to you there, right? Uh, and that's great because then you have an audience, okay? And that's the, the first step is actually you've got an audience of people who like and trust you and know you to some degree. So what you want to do is now convert your profile, which is a personal profile, into a bridge to your professional profile. And the way we do that is first of all we set up a, your cover image, you want to put an image there that displays uh, you know, what you want people to know about what you're doing professionally. Okay, So uh, maybe your first step before you even go to doing that stuff is really for yourself writing down right now who do you want to be known or who do you want to be known as or what you want to be known for in the next 12 months. Okay, So if you want to be known as someone who is a leader in your industry right uh, who's going out there and teaching and doing workshops and that kind of stuff then what would make sense is you put a picture of yourself doing that activity on your cover image okay and I've done that if you look at my profile you will see that I've got a picture of me speaking in front of a crowd of about 60 people uh, and that's me doing a TEDx Telstra Sydney event right and that's by design so that way anyone who sees that profile for the first time will say wow this guy spoke at TEDx at a TEDx event okay so he's you know somebody that's done something Right? That's sort of somewhat credible. Uh, and you can do the same thing. So to think about what you want to be perceived as and you start with your cover image. Your uh, profile picture, same deal. You want that to be more professional than just selfies of you on the beach and whatever it may be. Okay, So uh, I will suggest that you actually hire a professional photographer or an amateur that's developing those skill sets. Uh, or if you've got a gr good D D DLSR camera, get your friend, boyfriend, husband, whoever it is to take a photo of you. Um, you know, only like from, from here up, right, just a headshot and put that on as well, okay? So that just gives you a bit more professional look uh, as opposed to just your selfie kind of images. Um, at, along with updating your personal profile, what you want to do is update the tag. There's, there's a section where you can actually put a description or a tagline of some sort. Put in there what, again, how you help or how you serve specific people and define who that specific people is, right? So to give you an example, on my profile, I put there that my my mission is to uh, empower emerging leaders, right, to build personal uh, brand online, something like that. Okay, you can check it out to see what it says. Uh, but that's a quick snapshot that lets people who are new to the profile, or even people who uh, uh, seen me before, lets them know what I'm doing and what I'm all about. And that way, if they want to connect with me, they understand why they're doing it. Okay. Uh, and that's really a, a great thing you can do straight away. Okay, so that's personal profile. Second thing is we're going to now bridge personal profile to professional profile, which means you actually need to set up a business page uh, for your personal brand. Okay, so whether you have a business or you don't, that's okay. You can set up a business page for a personal brand, and that can just be your name. Okay, that's all right. You go and do that, and there's many reasons to set that up, but the, the main one I'm going to say is because your business page allows you to view insights and data and track engagement to the page right so any post that you make on that page Facebook gives you the ability to see what's going on with posts that are performing well or not well with who your audience is who are the type of people that are following anything from their gender to their location to uh, all kinds of information what days and times are postings working best for you and also then you can use uh, anyone who's, who comments likes or engages on your business page you can actually use Facebook ads to send 
uh, you know, ad campaigns directly to those people, right? So if you imagine that you had some kind of offer that you could give them, whether it's a, you know, a lead, you know, something, an ebook that you're creating, or a course that you're creating, or a service that you want to sell, you can then use that to send it, uh, that information to send to those people. Okay, so create the, your business page, and then now you're going to link the two together personal profile and business page. And the way you do that is in your personal profile, you can then put in uh, your, there's a section where you can update your career or your job, uh, your jobs. And so what you can do then is go there and link it to your business page, all right? Uh, that's, I don't know what step that was, but that's, <laughs> there's a couple of tips there too. Maybe three would be post quality content, okay? So this is all about writing all about the things that interest you all right, and do them as uh, think of them as mini using your Facebook profile as a mini blog where you're doing periodic updates where you're sharing some insight, thought processes, resources, or research that you're doing around a key topic of interest. All right, so I'm all about marketing and building authentic brand online. So, what do you think I'm writing about? I'm, I'm sharing authentic stories, um, and here's the, the kicker if you make the stories about you and your experiences and and Get real vulnerable and share some of the moments where you weren't feeling really confident but you learned how to become confident in your space that's going to help people connect to you and resonate with what you're sharing okay so it is you know about being real this is where the authenticity comes in okay so don't try and be really professional and and you know everything is like a, a, I don't know, a textbook or something like that it doesn't work okay you can try it Trust me, I've tried it and it just doesn't work. The best thing to do is to get real and tell stories because people connect to stories and, th and they re resonate with that. So four, if that's the tip number four, uh, is to share regular updates. And what I'm finding working really well right now is about 200 words, anywhere between uh, 200 to 500 words max, no text, no links, just text. You sharing a nice story, put that in, in your status, hit publish, and away you go, and then you can also republish that to your business page, which is actually a smart move, okay? Um, and then tip number five is all about growing that network, which means actually going out and connecting to people that you meet in person somewhere at an event or online, okay? And then sending requests to them to join, to add them to your network, okay? So there is a process where you have to go out and invite people to join you, okay? So that would be my top five tips. If you're doing those things frequently, you're gonna have a rock star profile, and uh, you'll see that opportunities will come your way. That's it, I finished Chance to Move from Simple Creative Marketing. That's your seven minute marketing tip for this week. We'll see you soon.